Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to another predictions video, and in today's video, I'm going to be going through the whole Gibb versus Jarvis sh slash Kingpin quarterfinal, semi-final, I think it's semi-final card. If you are new around here, then you haven't subscribed, please do so like video if you do need like video, and let's get straight into it. So, literally about 30 minutes before I made this video, there was a new fight announced on it, so it wouldn't surprise me if there's probably going to be even more announced on it that I'm just missing out on at the moment, but this is all the ones that I think are announced on for the moment, and so that one being William versus Paddy, and to be completely honest, I just had a look through both their Instagrams. Don't really know anything about either of the two of them, but seeing that Williams is a bit more of like a, a weight kind of person, one of them social media, gym people, and Paddy isn't really one of them. He's just more of like a TikToker person that, I don't know if he's trying to be a comedy TikToker or anything, but either way, I'm going to go with Williams to win that one. Moving on to Crosby versus Chalmers. Of course, Chalmers was in that Mayweather fight not too long ago, but I think even though he was in that, people are just going to go for him because he was in that and he has that bit of name behind him from what I think it was a reality TV star or something. I don't really know, but either way, I'm going to go with a Crosby victory. I think he's got the more... I think he's also got the same similar level of experience. I think he is the better fighter in general and I don't really see Chalmers as that much of a good fighter in general so yeah I want to go with a Crosby victory moving on now to Cowley versus Tierney I do quite like this fight I think as an actual skilled boxing fight I feel like this has the making to be quite a good fight Tierney being that of the BKFC background and being known for his quite slick movements and maybe not being the most powerful in the BKFC but still having that sick movement and Cowley I believe being from the ultimate fighter I might be wrong and doing pretty well in there so they both also have got a bit of a following behind them as well of course everybody has on this but I'm going to go with a Tierney victory I think the fact he's coming from BKFC is it sets you up obviously there's different kind of styles between BKFC and boxing of course but I think the BKFC sets you up better for boxing than what UFC does set you up for boxing and I think Tierney he has that movement and he's used to being hit hard and I think he'll be able to win this one moving on now to Johns versus O'Donnell so the first women's fight of the kind of undercard of where they both lost and now they're playing each other the losers bracket I suppose and I'm gonna go for Johns to win this one I, I mean I backed her in the first fight obviously she didn't but she still looked good and against a very hard hitting puncher as what Barbie is she still put up a decent effort and I think now she's going to be in against an easier opponent and I think she'll be able to get the win moving on now to Helmsley versus Danny Elka Danny Elka is the person who lost versus Elbrook but managed to take her all the way to the end of the fight managed to get through a whole fight of her when a lot of people doubted that and Helmsley was the person who lost to poker and did kind of convincingly lose to poker and I'm going to go with Danny Elka win of course she's also the taller fighter and like I said, she went the whole way with Brooke and nobody really expected that. So I feel like either way her stock went up just by doing that, even if she did, even though she did lost. But yeah, I, I still think she's going to win this one versus Helmsy. Moving on to Barbie versus Brooke. This is the Elbrook sister. I forgot her name. Probably should have known that. But either way, uh, I'm going to go with a Barbie victory. I think Barbie's now got a lot of hype behind her and she's going to have to live up to that as her performance in that last fight was so impressive and so much different to what we've seen from any of the kind of women's fights over in the crossover scene so it's nice to have that kind of difference and I think she's going to have another good performance here and get to the final and I think she definitely has the making to win this whole tournament moving on now to probably my favorite women's fight that's about at the moment in this crossover scene and that is poker versus Brooke I think this is going to be a very close fight and I think they're both going to be out and out kind of brawl type fights. And this is probably going to be a war. And I think it's going to be a very entertaining war. And I'm going to go with a poker victory. I think, I, I don't know. I just feel like Brooke went in that added pressure in the last fight. And she didn't really show anything of any note. And I don't really think she's shown anything of any note in any of her fights. I think she's just got that power. And now she's facing somebody that's also got power as well. I feel like she might get outdone and I feel like she will even if it's going to be going down to a war and maybe not being the most stylistically best looking or anything like that I still think poker will be able to get the victory moving on now to the two big main fights I don't know 
who's really the main event for this one. And I just put Gibbard versus Jarvis as like the title and everything because just because I know more about them as a fight. But the Kenny versus Nunes one is also a great fight. But yeah, Kenny versus Nunes. To be completely honest, I'm gonna go for Kenny victory. People are maybe doubting Kenny a little bit and bigging up Nunes because of the whole hype behind Nunes now. But I think Kenny can't be underestimated. I think he looked very good in his last performance, a shutout victory and one that was definitely necessary for him. And the way that he's now fighting, like he's got nothing to really lose and showing that he's got that power and using his reach quite well and everything like that. I think he looked he looked good. He looked solid. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go over Kenny victory. And then moving on to the main event, in my opinion, and it might be the main event on the night, I don't really know. Gibb versus Jarvis. Gibb coming off the victory versus McBroom and Jarvis coming off the victory versus Zanetti. I think they both looked very good in this first in their first fight of the tournaments. But I'm going to go over Gibb via unanimous decision. I don't think Gibb will be able to stop Jarvis, to be completely honest. I think this will be quite a, maybe not over, I think Gibb will be wanting to make it a bit more of a dogfight and Jarvis will be wanting to keep it a little bit more technical but I think in the end, Gibbs going to have that more heart and more desire and show his more experience around the game to be able to get through it and be able to dig deep and get this victory as I don't think Jarvis has it really in him to be able to do that because he hasn't been through as much as what Gibbs has been through yet. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy. Like, 15, you love it. Subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching.